the Demons and Collingwood to engage in today's match, which has an ominous air of hostility. I'm Dennis Cometti and I'm glad you could join us. Today we've trekked to the MCG. Great to be back in Melbourne, the world leader in the number of people around whom you shouldn't make a sudden move. With me is three-time All-Australian and 13 times Richmond's leading goal kicker, Matthew Richardson. Thanks, Dennis. Should be a great one today. Even though it's an exhibition match, Dennis, we expect that both teams will want to win. The Magpies fans make their team welcome. The batters look great as the players get set to run through them. Melbourne enter the arena. Umpire tosses the coin. The Magpies kicking to the left of screen. Well, they say patience is a virtue, but if we wait any longer for the siren to kick things off, I'm sure this crowd will get a little unruly and maybe take matters into their own hands. And away we go, the opening bounce. Gorn with the tap, he handballs it. He controls the bouncing ball. Jones with the interception, finally gets the hand pass. Approaching the goals now. How got under it. Sends it on its way. Nice hands. Trims the grass with that one. Grundy marks. Jams it on the boot. Jones with the mark. Gets boot to high. Wins the hard ball. Hannon slams it on the boot. Petraka takes it well. Gets boot to high. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Taken by Gore. Kicks hurriedly. Jones picks up the loose ball, and we have a ball up. Punched by Gore. Pendlebury throws the ball, free kick. Going for goal number one. Is it high enough, long enough, straight enough? The Demons get a goal. Gorn can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Gorn directs it down, gathered by Wells. There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. Jones approaching home now. Goes wide for a behind. The Demons by seven points. The Magpies are trying to take this game on, but their disposal hasn't been great and they're being punished on the turnover. They just need to slow it down a little and look for a safer option. Pendlebury kicks it, Grundy claims the ball, puts Boot to ball. Hoskin Elliott with the mark, boots it. Side bottom presents and takes the mark, kicks. Nice work from Fasola. Fasola unloads one towards goal. Elliott read the play better than anyone else and takes possession. Side bottom spills it. Viney with the interception. The balls come out of the pack like a chocolate bar from a slot machine. Tyson kicks it. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Chip kick along the way. Jones with the mark. Kicks it across the ground. An easy grab for Gore. Sends it on its way. Hannon with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. The contest, no match for him. 45 metres out. He's kicking from a 45 degree angle. The tracker just gets it through. Melbourne had the early lead. It's always a good sign. The tracker is just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Go on decisively. The bouncing ball is controlled. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Grundy hits it. The ball is scooped up. He handballs it. Vince boots it, Pedersen drops it, Maynard intercepts the ball, Goldsack onto the ball. Choose to kick it. Wins the hard ball. 
Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Vasolik marks it. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Gets the distance. Vasolik getting his first right there. The Magpies sink their first. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Grundy knocks it down the field. He boots it from the pack. Tyson wins the marking contest. The dominance we're seeing from the Demons at the moment has come mostly from their running goals. They just haven't been able to get up to the contest and take a mark inside forward 50. The umpire wants to throw it in. Grundy taps the ball. He hand passes it. He gets boot to the ball. Petraka with good strong hands. Distance could be the problem. He's kicking on about 45 degrees from here. He'll be happy with that. The Demons with the ascendancy over Collingwood, leading the match 19 to 6. Good tap from Gore, controlled by Golsack. He boots it from the pack. A great effort. Slams it on the boot. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Melbourne could bypassing their four targets and having shots on the run with very few marks inside 450. Approaching home now. And the umpire will throw it in. Gorn with the tap. Jones running in now. The goal for Melbourne. Melbourne could score the last two goals. The Demons beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 25 to 6. Gorn not even close to getting a hit out. He might have to take a leap out of the karate kid and sweep the knee. Gorn timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. He's got the football now. Takes possession. Reed takes a shot at goal. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. The Magpies need a score here. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. And he stepped over the boundary line. It's a good throw in. Gorn nicely outclassing Grundy. Well done to keep it alive under pressure. Wells puts it on the boot. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Jeddah just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. Pendlebury just wanted it more then. He gets boot to the ball. Dugowie with the mark. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Sends the Sharon on its way. Scoops up the ball. Leavitt sends the ball on its way. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Pedersen got under it. Low kick. Pinpoint accuracy from Gallup. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. They're starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Gorn is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Grundy. The ball spills to Jones. It's a ball up. Grundy got a fist on it. Richard, what are your thoughts on the opening turn? Collingwood need to recognise the opposition run on and take some initiative and ownership to intervene themselves. That was a high score in quarter. Time to check the stats, Richard. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close. Locked on. Here we go again. Quarter number two. Always make a total effort, even when the odds are against you. He receives the handball. Now we've got a ball up. Gorn guides it. A favourable bounce. Pedersen approaching home now. Hannon, the better man there. He's kicking on about 45 degrees from here. 40 metres from home, the tracker chips into the pocket. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Shot by Hogan. Hogan executes the goal well. Gets his first, and they stretch out their lead. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Gorn taps with the ball now. The loose ball scooped up. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. 
hit by Gore. Pedersen sticks out his hands and collects the ball. He picks it up. Clean tap by Gore. Jones has his head down now. 25 metres out. Hogan with a fairly straight shot at goal. It's kicks like that when players find out this really is a game of centimetres. The Demons leads by 31. Dunn looking for a lead. He's heading for home. Football is not, never has claimed to be a fair game. Melbourne starting to exert some dominance over Collingwood with the lead of 39 to 7. He plays it to himself, choose to kick it. Able to grab it on the half volley. He just can't get out of the action. Adams handball short. Chips it down towards half forward. Hunt got under it. Melbourne haven't taken many inside 50 forward marks and their ability to nail goals on the run is what's keeping them in front of the Magpies. Reid gets the loose ball. He hand passes it. The solo getting in. Watch his style. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Scoops up the ball. Lever sends one up towards the wing. Taken by Jones. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Picked by Oliver. Finally getting no trouble taking that one. Picks it across the ground. It's Edward Scissorhands. The ball picked up. He collects the loose ball. How caught with the ball. Finally going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short tactically this week. 65 metres out. Is in his possession. Gallup shoots it. 30 metres out. Shot by Hogan. Goal. That's five in a row for Melbourne. Melbourne over. Collingwood by 37. Hogan got a really good footballing brain. Grundy with first hands to the ball. Lewis gets it on the bounce. Collected by Gorn. Slams it on the boot. And that ball is out of bounds. The Ruckman battle it out. Gorn outstretches his opponent to win the ruck. He picks up the loose ball. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. Gets boot to leather. To Goey. Cops it up. Able to grab it on the half volley. Slips the handball to Reed. Elliott making his way in. Let's hope he's compensated for the win. Collingwood should really pack up and go home at this stage. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Gorn wasn't even close to that tap, and he'd be crazy to think that type of effort will win any time soon. That's a massive kick. Hogan claims it. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. 30 metres from home. Hogan lets fly with a shot at goal. The Demons lead the Magpies by 32. Dunk waiting to bring it back into play. He plays on with a little kick. Gets boot to high. Maynard with the mark. He spears the ball. Umpire not hesitating to call the ball up right there. Gorn nicely outclassing Grundy. Jones gets it on the bounce. Kicks it. No one troubling him there. Puts boot to ball. Hands like dinner plates. Pendlebury is really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. Grundy boots it. He claims the ball. Sending it on its way. Vince with a strong mark. He boots it. Viney with the ball. Kicks the skin off it. He collects the loose ball. He handballs it. He runs for home. Going for goal number one. Miss for behind. Melbourne with a healthy gap on the scoreboard leading the Magpies 47 to 14. Dunn assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. The Demons beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 53 to 14. Garlett will want to try and wheel around onto his favoured foot, but he's still very capable on the other. The umpire will give us another ball up. Gorn got a really good footballing brain. Side bottom mops up the ball. Adams hands over the ball. Viney kicks it. That's a mark. Puts boot to ball. 
Jones really forced to earn that mark. He gets boot to the ball. He takes a strong mark. 50 metres from home. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. Pedersen shoots it. Hasn't got the carry. The long kick doesn't make the goal. Melbourne with a handy break leading Collingwood 54 to 14. Dump gets set to kick it back in. Plays onto himself. Gets boot to leather. Crisp controls it. Works it across the ground. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. First possession for Trelaw. Picture perfect drop punt. Pasolik with the mark. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Looks like he forgot to practice his kicking during the week. Collingwood would get the free kick as it goes out on the full. Simply outplayed the opposition there. 25 metres out. Pasolo pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. Collingwood not enjoying this. Teammates scrambling to make a lead. McDonald plays on. Sends the Sharon on its way. An easy interception for Trelaw. Pasolik marks. 35 metres out. There's been a lot to enjoy in the second quarter. The scores at Melbourne 54, the Magpies 15. If the opposition get the early run on in the second half, the Magpies will need to slow the game down and change the way they are playing. I'd expect they have a few options up their sleeve, like playing wide or not playing on, but they will need to implement that pretty well straight away. Let's take a look at the stats, Richo. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stat. Well, the players have had a good rest, and they look refreshed, ready for the third term. Think big, believe big, act big, and the result will be big. Hand passed by Gore. Lewis kicks. Gallup gets the mark without contest. A long way out. He's kicking on about a 30-degree angle, which could prove challenging. Picked up by the tracker. He runs into the goal. Hogan made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. The Demons with the advantage as they lead the Magpies 60 to 15. Gorn with the hit. He's got the football now. Viney sometimes finds himself in trouble trying to twist and turn out of traffic, but he's got the capability to be a silky performer. He boots it. Dugowie with real good use of the body. He gets boot to the ball. Elliott with the mark. Going for goal number two. Intercepted by Fusolo. It's been intercepted by the opposition. There's someone on the ground. Looks like Frost. I think the doctor will be taking a close look at that one. Reed hit him up and up. Just in time with that kick. Picked up the ball. Jams it on the boot now. He picks up the loose ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Ball crosses the boundary. The Ruckman jostle for position. Tap to advantage. Trelaw controls. Trelaw has tremendous balance because of that great core stability. He's just able to stand up better when being tackled. Puts boot to ball. And the ball goes over the boundary line. He hits it. He picked it up off the ground, sending it on its way. He kicks the ball. Slips through his fingers. Maynard grabs the ball on the bounce. Smith puts his boot on it. Pendlebury with good strong hands. Looks like he panicked there. Gorn puts it on the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Oliver has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Pedersen putting his head down as he runs in. Petraka with great hands. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. So close, but just misses. Melbourne lead the Magpies. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. Dunn boots it. Maynard with an easy mark. Maynard kicks hard along the boundary line. Clearing it with ease here. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Trelaw marks on the run. Collingwood just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Adams with the mark. 
puts boot to ball. That's a nice strong mark. Chips it down towards half forward. Jones takes the mark. Picks it across the ground. Side bottom intercepts the bouncing ball. Pedersen again richer. Yes, he's giving 100% right now. Slams it on the boot. Strong mark. Lining up the goal now. Reed feeds it wide. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Choose to kick it. I guess it was worth a go. A favourable bounce. Superb handball. Gaunt will get the free for throwing. Gorn sends one up towards the wing. Vince grabs that one. Vince, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. That's a mark. He puts power behind that kick. He takes the contested mark. Petraka taking a chance at goal. What is that? He's kicked that straight into the confectionery stand, out on the full. Jams it on the boot. A solid mark from Mena. Stabs the ball. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Pendlebrick is an absolute ball magnet. Gorn got the hit out. He's got the football now. Adams kicks from the pack. A nice running mark. Well, Collingwood haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Sending it on its way. Good mark. He kicks the ball. Grundy there to mop it up. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Chalk up a goal for the Magpies. Pasolo gets the important kick. You heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Gorn gets the tap. The ball in the hands of Jones. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. And he's heading for home. Oliver claims the ball. 50 metres from home. Boots it. Nice work from Pedersen. 35 metres out. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. The Demons by 46. Pedersen has got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. Grundy punches. Leavitt controls it. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. He's running hot, Richard. I can't believe it, Dennis. He just keeps surprising us up here in the commentary box. Gorn is getting the ball again and again. The solo with the behind. A wasted opportunity. The behind at this stage will do little to improve their position. Might have to kick it to himself. Plays on. That came off the boot with huge power. Adams intercepts the bouncing ball. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. Wells boots it out on the full. A good turn with the Demon 67 to Collingwood 22. If Melbourne can maintain their structures and continue playing on their terms, then this game is a foregone conclusion. So it's just about the last roll of the dice if Collingwood can tend to make any inroads to this deficit. Let's go to Richo now and take a look at the stats. You could slip a bit of paper in between these two teams on the marking stats. They're really that. There's the siren for the final quarter and play is underway. Ingenuity plus courage plus work equals miracles. He picks up the loose ball. Viney running in, about to kick. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 40 metres out. Gallup aiming for the goals. Goal. Good thing's coming through as that's his third. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Grundy is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Gore. Quick kick out of the pack by Jones. Hannon with the kick. Nice mark there. How? He's just got an amazing sense of timing, which is why you regularly see him pulling down those absolute screamers that we all love. Sending it on its way, strong mark there. He kicks the ball, Chris takes the mark. He slams that on the boot, he claims the ball. Trelord spears the ball. That was all Hoskin Elliott. Jams it on the boot. McDonald takes advantage. A lovely drop pass. Great grab. When you look at the set shots of goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your Fords a chance to mark. But the Magpies, Fords are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Ball up goal. 
Grundy, try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from the guy wearing makeup. Handball short. Lever slams it on the boot. He wins the contest. Picks it across the ground. A mark by Vince. Vince feeds it wide. Oliver marks. He steadies now in front of goal. Boots it. Marked by Pedersen. 45 meters out. Going for goal number two. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. Melbourne by 52. Done. He's a pretty decent kick of the footy, but you can always be better. Chris boots it. No one around troubling him there. Pendlebury kicks the ball. Trelaw with a strong mark. He gets boot to the ball. Strong mark there. Jones passes it. Now we'll get a ball up. Big leap. He's got the footy in his hands. He's got the football now. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. Puts boot to ball. Nice work from Degoe. Choose to kick it. Out of bounds near the 50. The Rucks are going at it. Hit by Grundy. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. We'll have a ball up inside the 50. He clears the ball. Viney onto the ball. Hunt gets it off the ground. The umpire says, give it to me. Knocks it down in front. He shows the quick hands. Pendlebury has had plenty of it, Richo. I can't believe it, Dennis. He just keeps surprising us up here in the commentary box. 45 metres out. Pasolik launches one towards goal. So close, but just misses. The Hines outnumbering goals this match for the Magpies. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult. So I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. Elliott steers the ball towards goal. Well, the margin's large and the time is certainly against them. McDonald has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. He keeps his cool under pressure and kicks the ball out. Tyson can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. That's a nice strong mark. Lever handballs it. Umpire calls for the ball. Definitely palmed to advantage. Able to grab it on the half volley. Jones kicks it out of congestion. Nice work from Hunt. Hunt sends one up towards the wing. That was all Viney. Vince receives the hand pass. He gets boot to the ball. Oliver made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. He's a ball magnet. Tap by Gorn. Controlled by Maynard. Controlled by Grundy. Gallup gathers. And he's heading for home. The opposition forgot about him. And he takes the easy mark. 30 metres out. Couldn't ask for much better than this. It's an easy shot here. It looked like a goal, but it grazed the post. The Demons in front. Their disposal efficiency has been fantastic. But Collingwood need to begin taking more gambles if they're going to cause some damage on the scoreboard. He kicks the ball. He grabs it. Puts boot to ball. Strong mark there. Pendlebury picks it. Marked by Trelaw. Picks it. Good mark by Hunt. Gets boot to high. Tyson has it. Tyson kicks out along the boundary line. Finally ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. Jams it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. He gives the ball a mighty roost. Ball goes over the line. Here we go again. Bourne has such great hands. He always gives his team first touch and he seems to always know who's in the best position to receive those clever touches. The tracker with the shot. Dunk setting up the play. Sends it out of the defensive 50. Heads up the corridor. Marks. Pendlebury feeds it wide. Mm -hmm. 
Not the most exciting match. No real competition between the teams. Disappointing. Richo, did you enjoy the matchup between Melbourne and Collingwood? If at first you don't succeed, you are running above average. Thanks for sharing that with us, Richo. The final scores stand at Melbourne 75, the Magpies 24. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Richard. Thanks, Dennis. Until next time, that's it.